I think when you go back and look at the Nintendo DS Lite, you realize what a great design it is and was for its time. It really has stood the test of time as a great handheld system and for still looking pretty modern to this day. The DS Lite released a little under two years after the release of the original DS, and I think was one of Nintendo's biggest updates to their systems. It improved on almost all things that many felt were lacking on the original DS. I know some will say the design of the original DS is great, but Nintendo really hit it out of the park with the DS Lite. The system just looks great opened and closed as well. They improved on the screen brightness significantly and the sound quality too. The only downgrade I would say is the GBA slot now having the game stick out slightly rather than sitting flush inside the system like the original DS did. It's a minor gripe I have with it because other than that, overall the system is flawless in my opinion. The operating system is still the same as the original DS, so they didn't change anything there. But the battery life was improved and as mentioned before the screen brightness was brought up and still looks amazing to this day. I also have to applaud them for moving the stylus to the right side of the system rather than at the top and the back of the screen area. I do wish they would let you load games into it without having to have the system off, but eh, it is what it is. Speaking of games, here's my case where I keep all of these and also my 3DS games and while I would love to go into all my favorite DS games right now, this video is just more about the handheld itself. But here's a quick look at my case here. And again, I store all my DS games in here as well as my 3DS games. I'm sure I'll go into another video later on of what are some of my favorite DS games are because, of course, there's hundreds of videos like that. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what my favorites are in another video. But here's just a quick look at that. So let's take out Super Mario, New Super Mario Brothers, which is still a really great and awesome experience on the DS. I think they shouldn't have really burned out this series with so many releases, but... The first one that came out on the DS is still my favorite. The level design is great, the music is great, but I do feel that too many releases of this same style was really burned out and kind of made it lose its charm. Imagine if a Nintendo made like, you know, six or seven of the Mario Wonder games. It, it, it just, after a while, you're gonna get burned out on it. So uh, the first one is still the best one in my opinion. And if you have a way to play it, definitely I recommend doing so. Now, I did want to mention another great option when it comes to playing games on the DS, and that is an R4 card. While it's not unique to the DS Lite, it did come with this red DS I had purchased, and it is just a micro SD card and you can load your games on there. How you get those games is going to be something you're going to have to look up on your own, but if you can export your own ROMs from your own DS cartridges, then you can go ahead and do that. The UI on it can be better, and I'm sure there's other versions of the R4 card that do look better, but... It's an option for someone that wants to have their DS ROMs on the go, instead of carrying around a whole case with all their games. I don't really ever use the R4 card unless there's a DS game that I don't have and I want to check out. Uh, then I'll go ahead and pull that out and play it. But uh, unfortunately, this DS Lite was dead again because I don't really play it. So can't really get into loading the game uh, and I really didn't want to waste time charging it. It seems silly to have multiple DS Lights, especially, you know, when you're gonna all play, they're all gonna play the same way, but I loved having multiple different colors of it, and I love that Nintendo came out with a lot of special editions for this system. Um, again, overall, I just think the design on this one is great. The stylus placement, the way the buttons feel. Yeah, they're smaller and everything, but it's, you know, it's supposed to be something that you take on the go with you, uh, and something you wanna just be able to, you know, pick up and play and, and enjoy. So, the DS Lite is gonna be my favorite of all the DS systems, it's just, premium looking it feels great the option is still play gba games actual gba games not you know roms or anything like that being able to play those games and have them on the go it's gonna just you know it, it was a game changer and i love nintendo for bringing this to our lives and i hope if you've never played a ds Lite and you're thinking about getting one definitely check them out uh you know the prices on them can go up higher depending on the quality of it but there's still options out there where you can find some great systems at a great price that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.